Report, Radio Shack negotiating to close half its stores, sell rest to Sprint, by Cyrus Farivar. Further reading, even Radio Shack admits it's had a prolonged downturn in our business. Radio Shack, as we once knew it, may soon be no more. The nearly century-old struggling retailer is currently in talks with Sprint to sell half of its store leases and then close the remainder, according to Bloomberg. That could result in no more Radio Shack locations existing, or the two companies could co-brand the stores, the news agency reported. Radio Shack has no comment on the Bloomberg report and has not confirmed any of the information that is being reported, an unnamed Radio Shack spokesperson told ours. A spokeswoman from Sprint, Roni Singleton, wrote to ours to echo the sentiment. We have no comment, but thanks for checking. Radio Shack's stock price lost over 13% on the day, ending at 24 cents per share. But the stock has bounced back to nearly that level in after-hours trading. Just weeks ago, the Wall Street Journal reported that Radio Shack would be filing for bankruptcy protection. And in December 2014, after Radio Shack posted its most recent third fiscal quarter earnings statement, the company revealed a quarterly net loss of over $161 million and a nearly $400 million net loss on the fiscal year to date. By comparison, Radio Shack lost over $216 million in the first nine months of 2013. To put it plainly, things did not look good in that filing. We have experienced losses for the past two years that continued to accelerate into the third quarter of fiscal 2015, primarily attributed to a prolonged downturn in our business. Our ability to generate cash from operations depends in large part on the level of demand for our products and services. We continue to face an uncertain business environment and a number of fundamental challenges in our mobility business due to lack of availability of new devices launched during the period, aggressive price competition and intense wireless carrier marketing activities. In its report, Radio Shack added that it has closed 175 underperforming stores since the beginning of the current fiscal year, with more